We're a neighborhood theater. We're a theater who came from the age of uh, talking pictures to live theater. This theater is, um, is, is small from the outside. Uh, the parking is a little rough. Um, the, the, the roads getting here is rough. And it kind of looks like, oh man, you know, when you pull up, you're just kind of like, really, I'm going to watch a show in here. Uh, it's probably not going to be that good. But once they have found this little diamond in the rough, they all go away sing, uh, singing our praises. St. John Theatre is the only theatrical center in the parishes. The original building was uh, built in 1918 and was known as the Liberty Theatre and showed silent movies. It became uh, the, the cultural hub and, and the excitement and everyone came here on weekends. This is where everyone came for their first dates. It burned in the 20s and a local gentleman, Mr. Lewis Morian, then built the theatre as we know it today. Light a rose, I'm home again, rose, to get the sun back in the sky. When this theater opened in 1931, it was known as Morian's Theater, the showplace of the river parishes. African Americans were not even permitted to sit on the ground floor. Black people came into this theater by a side door and entered the theater by a side staircase and were only permitted to watch movies from above. And no black people were allowed on the first floor and no white people were allowed on the top floor. There was a common concessionaire that stood in this very area that sold wares to the white people in front, but there was a counter that divided black people on the right side. There were separate bathrooms that black people frequented and other bathrooms on the ground floor that white people frequented. It, it stayed as a theater until roughly the 1970s, and then it closed down. It was a mom and pop. All these multiplexes and Orleans and Baton Rouge took all the people away from us, and it stood dormant for a number of years. It didn't stay dark long. The parish purchased the building, and Mr. Jack Snowdy then formed a group and leased the building and brought live theater to the river parishes. It was a resurrection. This theater was dead, and the parish council made this project happen. The productions at the theater are anticipated by the community because of the sets, the quality of the sets, the costumes, the directing, the music, and of course the performance. All right, kids, what will it be? There's a movie! Now, women who kiss in the very first date is usually a hussy. Now, women who kiss in the second time out is anything but hussy. But a woman who waits till the third time around is pumping and clouds, feet on the ground. She's a girl, he's glad he's found. Our shows are driven by kids. Peter Pan, Annie, were some of the biggest shows we've ever had. On a Tuesday night, way back in the 80s, South Pacific sold out our entire theater. The uh, last production, of course, we did was Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, and it brought some different aspects to St. John Theater that had not been touched on in the past, and I'm still having people come up and just give me many accolades about that. In fact, one is about a young girl from Oklahoma. Ah! Don't you love it when the fire comes? No. Don't you love it when the coyotes come? No. Well, I know a few tricks with the furry old six. You can watch me blow those little suckers' heads clean up and down. Oh, Everything that's done here is done on a voluntary basis. So our community comes in and supports every production.
You know, um, everyone's a skeptic to a certain point. I have been in this building at 2 o'clock in the morning on a ladder 14 feet in the air for an hour and nothing haunted me. Actually, a year ago, myself and a videographer were here and heard footsteps across the stage. I've had friends that said, oh yeah, I heard a door shut and I was the only one here. There are many who have come in and they've seen children playing, they've seen uh, adults. Um, there is one deputy, in fact, who refuses to come back and work the theater. I see uh, some difficult times and some good times. We have a lot of potential in our community. I would have never known I liked acting until I came here and, and tried it out. The community has come to really anticipate the productions as far as the sets, the costumes, the acting, everything combined. It's, it's, uh, it looks very positive. Um, so I, I think it definitely does have a bright future because like I said, a lot of the talent is young and uh, when you have young talent, that's always good for your future.